Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be really different. I've never done a video like this on my channel before, but I felt like I needed to kind of like switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna be doing a drugstore versus high-end makeup tutorial. So basically everything that I gathered together are like my exact dupes for like the high-end products, except for a few things in here. There's like two or three things that aren't like really dupes. I thought this would be a fun video to film. I see everyone doing this on YouTube and I've always wanted to do it and and just see what the outcome is and honestly I can't even tell which one is the high-end and the drugstore one before you start watching this video let me know which one you think is the drugstore side and the high-end side so if you guys want to know what drugstore products I use today and how they compare to the high-end products then just keep on watching okay so I usually start my makeup with my eyebrows but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today and start with my face so to prime my skin I'm using the hourglass mineral veil primer I really like this primer it makes my face look really soft and feel really soft it's so expensive though the full size is like $54 so I always just buy the little size And then the dupe for that is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This one I believe is like $14 or $15, so it's much cheaper than the Hourglass one. But for being a primer from the drugstore, it is kind of still a little bit on the pricier side. So the only difference I noticed about this one, especially when applying it, is that it's a lot thicker. It just goes on a little bit thicker than the Hourglass one. It's not as like super slimy, I guess. I don't know the right word. Another thing with this one is that I definitely don't think it makes my makeup last as long as the Hourglass one does. So since the NYX one is a little bit thicker, I feel like it does fill in my pores a little bit more than the Hourglass one. But then on the other side, it doesn't really keep my makeup on as long. So that's the only difference I noticed between those two. For my foundation today, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is one of my like old foundations that I was obsessed with. This used to be my favorite foundation ever. Still love this foundation to this day. I use the shade 2N1 Desert Beige, by the way. But yeah, I used to love this foundation. It's super good if you have oily skin and it lasts forever, but it does create a flashback. I actually haven't tried the new version of this. They reformulated it so it doesn't flash back in photography anymore. I'm just going to blend this out with a damp beauty sponge. This foundation is also super full coverage, so if you do have a lot of maybe like acne or even acne scarring or rosacea, like I do have a little bit of rosacea on my skin, it's really, really good for covering that up because it is so full coverage. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I love this foundation. I just started using this about probably like a month ago now, and I've fallen in love with it. It works really well for my oily skin. It's also pretty full coverage, and it just looks really nice on the skin. If you guys are new here, I do have very oily skin, so it's really hard for me to find foundations that actually hold up with my oily skin. And the shade I have in this is 300 Golden Beige. For concealer today, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers. I love this stuff so much. It's super, super full coverage. I'm sure you guys have heard about this. It's like all over YouTube. So I have the shade Light in this, which is really, really light right now, but it's the only one that matches the dupe that I have for it. And I just put this where I like to highlight the center of my face, just to give myself a little bit more dimension. Moving on to the dupe, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This concealer is amazing, you guys. It's like three bucks. I get mine at Walmart and it's so full coverage, especially for being such an affordable concealer. It just blows my mind, honestly. This is like the perfect dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. So if you guys have not tried this, I would highly, highly recommend it. I use the shade Light, I believe it's called. Yeah, Light Ivory. Okay, now I'm gonna set my concealer and for this, I don't have like a dupe for and this is one of the things that isn't from the actual drugstore. But to set my concealer on the high-end side, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder, one of my all-time favorite setting powders. It's really good, especially if you have dry skin. It's very like soft looking, so it's really good for people that have dry skin. I do have oily skin, so I usually only like to put this underneath my eyes. I don't typically set my entire face with this, but it's not that good at actually controlling 
rolling your oil compared to like the Laura Mercier powder. So if I need my makeup to last like a super long time, I won't set my whole face with this, but I always set my under eyes with this for sure. And then for my setting powder on the other side, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. So like I said, this powder is not a dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way one, but it's really the only like drugstore loose setting powder that I have besides the Maybelline I think it's the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, and that one has a color to it, so I didn't want to use that one. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows, and for my right side, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade four. This is the eyebrow pencil that I use every single day to do my eyebrows. I switch off between this one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz but I think I like this one just a tad bit more because I feel like the tip is a little bit smaller. And then for my other brow, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I use the shade Ash Brown. I do really like this brow pencil too, but I do think that it goes on a little bit more kind of like waxy than the Benefit one, but it ends up looking the same in the end, so that's really all that matters. It just feels a little bit more waxy. And then I'm just gonna use my concealer to prime my eyelids quick. Okay, I am so pale right now, so I'm gonna put some bronzer on. This is the Urban Decay Sun Kissed Bronzer, and I'm just using an Anastasia A19 brush. Just gonna bronze up the outsides of my face. And then on the other side, I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Light, and this is a Morphe M527 brush. So I'm gonna move on to my eyes now, and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So the first shade I'm taking is called Eden, and I'm just gonna buff this all over my transition area I'm using a Morphe M504 brush. And then I'm using the Maybelline City Mini Palette. This is in the shade Downtown Sunrise. And I'm gonna be taking this transition shade right here on an Anastasia A12. So the shade obviously isn't as dark as Eden. And I don't know why I went in with Eden. I should have went in with the shade Desert Sand because it's like the same exact shade, but apparently I wasn't thinking. So we'll fix that later, don't worry. <laughs> then I'm gonna take the shade out on an Anastasia A25 brush this in my outer corner. And then from the City Mini Palette, I'm taking this dark brown shade right here. So the shade is giving me a little bit of a tough time. It's getting a little patchy right here. Okay, yeah, so this one definitely is looking a little bit more warmer toned, and I feel like that's also because of the transition eye shade I used, which was a total mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I'm just gonna do my lid shade, and hopefully you really won't be able to tell that much once everything is together. So I'm using the shade Angelic right here. And then from the other palette, I'm using this shade right here. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that brown shade and deepen up the outer corner. So what I did, since it was a little bit lighter, is I just mixed these two shades together to get like the perfect in-between to match this shade a little bit more but the shades are super, super close. The only thing is that this brown shade is so patchy. It's driving me crazy. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So I'm gonna use the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 17, I believe. It's just a black one. And a Sigma E06 brush, my favorite brush ever for doing eyeliner. Okay, and then for the other side, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This used to be my favorite favorite eyeliner ever until I started using the Inglot one. I like the Inglot one a little bit better because I feel like it's a little bit more black, but I still love this eyeliner so much. It is super, super black and very creamy, so it's really easy to use. And I think it's only like seven bucks. And then for my eyeliner on my lower waterline, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Highliner. On the other side, I'm using the L'Oreal Pencil Perfect Eyeliner in the shade Ebony. I do like this, but it does not last long on my waterline, I've noticed. I think it's just because I'm so used to my Marc Jacobs 
eyeliner pencil. So I feel like I'm just too used to that one, but this one is nice and pretty black. It just doesn't last as long as the Marc Jacobs one. I'm gonna smudge this shade on my lower lash line quick. And then do the same thing with the dark brown shade in this palette. For mascara, I'm using my all-time favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for the dupe, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Love this mascara so much. It is seriously like the exact same thing as the Too Faced one. I just think it's a little bit harder to take off, but the wand, everything is like exactly the same. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna skip lashes today because one, I really couldn't find any like drugstore ma lashes that matched to my higher end lashes. I could not find any that looked the same. So I didn't wanna wear like two completely different false lashes. You guys have also been asking me to do a tutorial without using false lashes. So I think this is like the perfect time to do that. So I'm gonna do my blush now and I'm using the Becca Flower Child Blush. Definitely one of my favorite blushes ever. It's such a pretty like baby pink shade. Oh my gosh. I'm using a Morphe E4 brush. Just putting that right on the apples of my cheeks and then dragging it backwards. And then on the other cheek, I'm using the Milani Powder Blush. This is the Blossom Time Rose. I didn't realize how close in color this is to the Becca one. And it also has a little bit of like a, not like a shimmer to it, but a little bit of like a gold sheen to it. So it matches the Becca one perfectly. And then for my highlighter, I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. You guys can obviously tell I love this highlighter. And just so you guys know, I do have two of these same Anastasia brushes, so I'm not gonna be mixing the highlighters when I go in with the second one. This is the Anastasia A23 brush. Also gonna put a little bit underneath my brow bone to highlight it. And in my inner tear duct. And on my cupid's bow. And then for my other half, I'm using another favorite, the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is actually my second one of these because my first one shattered, sadly. If you haven't tried this yet though, I would highly recommend it. It is so blinding. Like, like look at this when you swatch it, it's crazy. And I'm gonna do the same thing, put this underneath my brow bone, Cupid's bow, and my inner tear duct. Then for lip liner, I'm using Strip Down by MAC. On the other side, I'm using Chai or Chi by ColourPop. This one is a little bit darker than Strip Down, but I think it'll look okay once it's all on. I'm just gonna use a little bit less than I did on this side just to kind of even it out. For my lipstick, I'm using MAC Honey Love. And then on the other side, I'm using Maybelline Beige Babe. This is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Okay, so that's it for this video. I actually think it looks like exactly the same. The only difference that I'm noticing is really the eyeshadows and the eyeliner. This eyeliner definitely isn't as black as this one. I feel like everything else looks just about the same. So I'm super glad that I filmed this video. I thought it was really fun filming this. I've never done a video like this, so it was really different for me, but I really had fun doing it. So I hope you guys liked this video too. If you guys are interested in seeing more like drugstore dupes and stuff like that, then definitely let me know because I can for sure do that. Thank you guys so much much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.